Yeah, so um, my name is Mark Davis, and this is my wife, Andrea. Uh, we've got two kids. Um, our oldest is Eliana. She's uh, currently three and almost four. And Theophilus, who's two? Two and a half. Yeah. My maiden name is Stickle. So Doug and Cheryl Stickle are my parents, um, who have been members of Hayden Bible for probably 10 years. Um, and then we actually um, attended and, and were kind of in and out during our support raising period back in 2014 to 16. We were kind of in and around Hayden a lot. We are uh, missionaries with an organization called Greater Europe Mission. Um, it's an organization that's um, uh, medium in size, but it specifically targets missions in Europe, um, everywhere from the UK to Eastern Europe, um, Scandinavia, and like south towards Greece and stuff. And it got started uh, by a... Um, a Navy chaplain. Yeah. Uh, who was, a Canadian Navy chaplain who was, in the who was friends, 50s. Yeah, who was friends with Billy Graham. Um, and after the wars, the big world wars, uh, saw a need to really bring the gospel back into Europe after what had, what had happened. So that's how the missions organization got started. Yeah, so we, we officially joined GEM in 2013. We were in the UK for four years, between 2016 and 2020. And there we were partnering with local churches and um, helping local churches uh, grow. And um, we were doing a lot of discipleship and teaching and helping in music ministry. Our plan now is to switch fields. So we are going to be heading to Spain and uh, specifically a city called Girona in Northeastern Spain. Um, it's in an area of Spain that is uh, called Catalonia and um, culturally it's it's kind of unique from the rest of Spain. They, they have their own language there, um, their own kind of unique history. Um, but we'll be working with GEM missionaries who are also American. They've lived there for 10 years. They're called the Parnells, but we will be coming alongside them and working with them towards church planting. For the first few years, of course, we will be primarily in language school learning Catalan, so we will not be learning Spanish. We will be learning the local language there. And so that will occupy a lot of our time in the beginning as we kind of learn the culture, learn the language, and then kind of strategize with the Parnells of what planting a church looks like there. What needs to happen between now and uh, before we head to Spain is uh, we need to raise a little bit more support. Um, we've had a lot of support come in in this last week, actually. Um, but we probably need to raise about $2,500 in monthly support, monthly committed faithful support. The next thing would be all the paperwork in terms of getting to the field, all the legal stuff, um, collecting all of our documentation, applying for visas. The turnaround time for that, especially in a, a COVID world now, you just don't know how long the governments are gonna take to process paperwork. Um, the estimated time for the Spanish government to approve of visa applications is two to four months once they've been submitted. So that's kind of a prayerful thing that we're um, doing thoughtfully and trying to do with wisdom. Our prayer and hope and, and the goal that we're working towards is um, at the earliest late spring, early summer. It's hard to set a timeline on, on when you'll be fully supported. Um, and so our goal is to raise funds and have monthly committed supporters and, and be working towards that goal. Uh, but we know and, and we just accept the fact that you kind of as missionaries and hopefully as anyone who follows Jesus you just place your life in God's hands and 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 just trust him with the time frame and and what's going to happen there's prayer prayer we think is the foundation for every ministry I think Christ modeled that um, and so praying for us that God will sustain us and provide for us um, one way to do that is to get our newsletter updates and kind of stay in touch with what we're doing so that you can be praying specifically for what's going on in our lives and in our ministry. Um, the other piece is um, financial. You know, that is in part of ministry. It takes funds. It takes practical financial funds to go and do ministry, especially missions. And so we do need financial support. That's a key piece. We just, um, we love the interaction that we we have for what people want to do we love getting packages in the mail we love getting emails we love 
getting you know a Facebook message or whatever avenue of medium suits you we love to do we love to hear from people um, at least from our experience in UK the the times that we would get um, an email response to a newsletter of hey we read it we're so encouraged or we're praying for you or something along that lines it could be one sentence of an email and that is um, my encouragement for that month one question that we'd get asked is like why why Spain like what's going on in Spain or Girona specifically like you could go anywhere mm-hmm. um, one is uh, like yeah we could we could stay in Coeur d'Alene we could do you know missions <laughs> here in Coeur d'Alene um, so I think anywhere is the mission field um, it's it, but I guess a, 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 the way I'd reframe a question of like why Spain is more of like what's the what's the spiritual climate in Girona or in Spain Protestant evangelical like church tradition is about 2.2 percent of the population in the area that we'd be moving into but then also not many are reaching the catalan speaking group best ways for people to stay in touch with us um email's great um so we've got a mark.davis at gemission.org or andrea.davis at gemission.org mm-hmm. we have a newsletter that we uh, try to get out um uh Fairly frequently, uh, it, it's become more difficult as our kids are toddlers to be faithful with getting that out every month. But um, we have a Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group, so we have to friend you and then invite you into that group um, that we send. Uh, we, we post things that are kind of in between newsletters to keep people kind of up to speed in between. Um, and if we're in the area, if we're here locally, uh, you can meet with us face-to-face.